Hey guys, Rick Kern of TV Scaly Adventures, and today I got a really cool find for you. Actually, yesterday we were setting up the set to begin filming season five. We uh, found a snake. Actually, the credit goes to Scaly Mom. She was looking out the window and she said snake, which activated all of our forces here in the house. But anyway, we did find a really, really cool snake, and I will open up by saying this pair of tongs right here, it's not that I'm afraid of snakes, but if you ever thought to yourself, I'd never touch a snake with a six foot pole, Midwest Tongs has something for you that can do it. But actually the reason I used this very long pole on a non-venomous snake was because it was sunning and I was afraid that it might be a black racer and black racers are super quick and super alert and I might not have been able to catch it before it went down over the hill because I wanted to show it to you guys. So this is a six foot gentle giant tong, which was really, really cool and gave me the ability to sneak up without casting a shadow or even making any footprints and pick it up and then put it in the bucket. But I'm gonna get rid of this right now and switch to a Midwest Tong snake hook. This is our field hook right here. This is our venomous snake tub. Again, this is interestingly a venomous snake, but not a venomous snake. So I'm gonna open up the tub and show you this cool thing that we caught right here. Now this is something that we have down here a lot of, and I'm gonna to try to get it out of the bucket without alerting it too much because once you alert it too much, the show's over. What I have here is an Eastern hognose snake. Now what's cool is if you didn't know any better, you'd think I caught a cobra because what's really cool about her is if you notice, she flattens out her body to make it as wide as possible and she's starting to hood up. And see that hood right there will spread out and mimics a venomous snake because that triangle shaped head right there is a warning sign to people and so what you'll notice is that she's trying to hood up and she'll arch and then what she's going to start doing next is she's going to start breathing real loud and i'm just going to just sort of touch her a little bit here i'm not really doing anything other than just letting her know that i'm present you hear it start to hear that hissing So in the world of hog noses, the first thing that we do is we hood up. There you go. The second thing that we start doing is we start hissing. This is like level two. And the next thing that we start doing is these false strikes. Yes, she could bite me, but really what they're doing is head thumping and starting to make that breathing sound. And she's gonna start acting just like a very agitated cobra. Now, if you keep messing with the, uh, a, a, one of these Eastern hog nose snakes, then what you notice is, oh, there we go with the mouth open eventually it's going to do something kind of funny. We filmed with one of these when we first got uh, into filming and we named her Morticia because they have an interesting habit of doing something which is they roll over, they play dead, they poop all over themselves, they give, oh look at that, that's incredible. They give this really cool sound but then what they do is they flip over, spit blood out of their mouth and look like they're dead and if you try and flip them over then what happens is they roll over just even more to convince you that they're dead. So I'm going to switch to a pair of tongs because I'd really like to see her do this. This is an awesome display of what a hog nose is all about though. There we go. Interestingly, when I said this is, could be a venomous snake but not be a venomous snake is technically these guys, oh there you go, look at that, open in the mouth. These guys technically are venomous. They have a very, very mild toxin in them that's venomous to, that is venomous to frogs and toads, which is their primary diet. Oh, this one's a little feistier. Okay, there. So now, oh, see, it musk, and now it's gonna die. And I'm gonna pull her back up here on the... But not really die. <laughs> she's, oh, dead snake. This is amazing. What she's just done is excreted. She's excreted, uh, she's not fooling me quite yet. But if I keep messing with her, you're gonna notice she opens up her vent down here. Okay, and what that does is it, you'll notice here there's droplets of, of feces and urine everywhere and she'll stop, she'll eventually open, close her mouth, stick that tongue out, and she stinks. I mean, it's really, mm -hmm. really bad. And this is all her feces and if you look, there's even blood, just a hint of blood inside of her mouth as well. But she sticks her tongue out and now this is really, really funny here. If you pick her up and you try to roll her back over, oh no, I'm dead. I'm still dead, but you can see the feces and some of the other stuff on there. And these are great snakes once they calm down, but until then, they're really not fun pets because about every 15 minutes you have to rinse them off, put them away, and then they reset. So what she'll do is she'll flip over on her back, tell us that she's dead, and she'll stay that way for a long, long time. And then uh, after a while, she senses that nobody's here, she'll flip back over and take her stinking self off into the woods. <laughs> so anyway, 
this is the hog nose, the eastern hog nose snake. And what I'm going to do in here in just a minute is I'm going to release her right back where I found her. But since she flipped out and turned over, I'll wait until she reactivates and put her back in the weeds so that she doesn't lay prey to uh, any overhead birds that might be circling over. So we just want to remind you guys to look around. Your backyard is a jungle. It doesn't matter where you live. There's always interesting wildlife that you can find out in among the bushes and the trees. Always be safe when you're working with snakes. Even we, the experts, quote unquote, use uh, tongs and the proper equipment. Always remember that your dad's five iron is not a snake hook. But anyway, stay tuned to Scaly Adventures. And just like I said, keep an eye around for all the interesting wildlife and learn, 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 because these guys are fascinating. Stay tuned to Scaly Adventures and we'll see you for season five.